Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Shen and I am a deacon in the English ministry. Uh, in the next few moments, i like to share with you very briefly how uh, God has blessed me and given me a heart for Israel. Um, growing up, I didn't know anything about Israel or the Jewish people. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was so ignorant about Jewish people that I thought Jewish people were just another group of Caucasians like any white American or European. And as you can probably tell, I didn't pay attention in school when they were teaching world history or geography. Uh, but I did always have a particular fondness toward Israel throughout my life. And uh, as a child, you know, whenever I came across Bible stories about Israel, uh, you know, as children tend to do, everything was simplified in my mind as good guys versus bad guys. And of course, God and Israel were always the good guys, and the good guys always win. So when I read the Bible as I got older and realized that Israel didn't always win, uh, you can imagine how confused I was. But nonetheless, I always rooted for Israel because they were my home team, you know, like uh, the Dodgers or the Lakers, even though I don't watch ba baseball or basketball. Uh, fast forward to 2010. And that was when I got my first full-time job. Uh, at the time, I was in my early 20s. And, you know, I was dating my girlfriend at the time, who would eventually become my wife. And, you know, one thing you got to know about girlfriends is that uh, girlfriends are very expensive. Uh, but even with a girlfriend, you know, because I didn't have any real-life responsibilities yet, uh, you know, in less than one year, you know, I was able to save up about, about like $6,000. And for me during that time, that was the most amount of money I have ever had in my life uh, at any one time. Uh, so I wanted to do something with it. You know, I thought about maybe investing my money in something like like stocks, uh, or maybe investing in gold. Uh, but I just wasn't sure what to do exactly. And you know, I wondered if there was some kind of investment that Christians should do. You know, so I talked to my uh, college pastor at the time, uh, Pastor Daniel. And uh, I said, Pastor Daniel, um, you know, I've got some money saved up from working full time. Uh, what do you think I should do with it? And he replied, uh, have you ever heard about blessing Israel? And I said, blessing Israel? Uh, what's that? You know, and he then proceeded to show me uh, Genesis 12, 3, where, where God promises Abraham, uh, you know, I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse and uh, you know how that promise was eventually inherited uh, by the whole nation of Israel. And uh, he then shared how anytime he gave toward Israel financially, uh, God has been blessing him back financially. And that there were several pe people at our church, including Pastor Shine, uh, who had similar testimonies. Uh, I was convinced and uh, decided to give this blessing Israel thing a shot. And so I chose to give to a Messianic Jewish organization in Israel called uh, Sukkot Hallel. And admittedly, I gave with very selfish motivations, uh, but I wanted to see what God would do. You know, about a week or two later, uh, after giving $6,000 for Israel, uh, I actually got a call for a job offer that was offering me about $12,000 more than what I was making then. And I was shocked at what had happened. Uh, I said, you know, God, why didn't I know about blessing Israel sooner? Uh, you know, I wanted to take this promise from God and kind of just see how far I could go with it. And this all happened in 2011. And in 2012, I decided to give uh, another $1,000 uh, for Israel. And that same year, I got a $6,000 raise. And then in 2013, I decided to give $7,000 for Israel. And less than a year after, I found a new job that offered me $29,000 more than what my last job paid me. You know, it was a 63% raise in my salary. Uh, in 2014, I got married, and that was when my wife and I started giving $100 a month for Israel. And somehow, uh, in the midst of that, we were saving more money at the end of each month, even though our expenses kept going up. Uh, in 2015, we decided to start giving more every month. So we started giving $300 a month for Israel. And that was when we had our first child and my wife stopped working. Uh, our monthly expenses skyrocketed while our monthly income uh, drastically shrank. Uh, but we still somehow ended up saving a lot of money at the end of the year. 
Uh, that was also when I started investing in stocks. Um, but at a certain point, I felt convicted to sell all my stocks and give everything to Israel. So I sold everything and ended up giving about $21,000 uh, for Israel. And after that, to be honest, I was expecting to win the lottery any day now and become some kind of millionaire. Uh, or I was expecting, you know, Bill Gates to come and adopt me so that I would become an heir to his fortune. Uh, but truth be told, nothing financially significant happened after that. At least not yet. Uh, I still continued to give for Israel on a monthly basis afterwards for a while. And God continued to bless me and, and keep me secure financially. But uh, there were two things that I noticed happening to me whenever I gave and continued to give for Israel. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that every time I gave financially for Israel, uh, my love for God would would actually seem to deepen and increase. Uh, like many people, I uh, struggle with um, idolizing money. And so giving money away was kind of a way for me to like remove the idols in my life so that I can freely worship God better. And the uh, second thing I noticed was that every time I gave financially for Israel, uh, God was slowly giving me a heart for Israel. You know, like when you invest in the stock of a company, you know, your view of that company changes. You know, all of a sudden, you want to know how that company is doing. And you start following the latest news about that company. You start to care for the well-being of that company. And I believe that's what God was doing with me. Uh, what started as a selfish motive, mostly driven by uh, financial gain, it kind of turned into an actual concern and care for the nation of Israel and every Jewish person around the world. Yes, I still do want to be blessed financially, uh, but more importantly, I do want to see revival in the nation of Israel. Uh, I want to see the hearts of the Jewish people all around the world being opened up to who Jesus is and what he has done for us. Uh, so blessing Israel financially is, uh, you know, it's not the only way to bless Israel. Uh, you know, we can bless Israel through our prayers. Uh, we can bless Israel by sharing the gospel to Jewish people with love and kindness. And, uh, you know, but of course, certainly you can also bless Israel with uh, your money and your resources. Uh, so that's just kind of uh, my my story and my encouragement uh, to you guys. Uh, let's all bless Israel together. All glory to God.